as you may recall, I was DMCA'd by Osho last month. Not the guru himself. After all, he died years ago. But the cult following, he inspired. The person who DMCA'd my channel is one of those who run the channel Osho International. He filed one DMCA late on the 31st of December, just in time for my new year. As soon as I discovered this, I made a video on the DMCA issue. I also asked many YouTubers for advice. I got some advice from some great YouTubers, including MacNuts2, Happy Cabby, and a few others. I was given most of the advice by the Happy Cabby. Once I knew what to do, I counterclaimed the DMCA. So with the counterclaim, I simply filled out the YouTube form with all of the needed detail and sent it off. So I uploaded another video about Osho, letting people know I had counterclaimed the DMCA. And guess what the response of Osho International was? Osho International DMCA'd both of the videos talking about the original DMCA. Why did Osho International DMCA me? All because of a single image. This image is covered by fair use and yet Osho International took it upon themselves to file three DMCA's against me. Lucky for me, I had counterclaimed the first DMCA Therefore, YouTube did not terminate my channel under the three strikes system. If I had not counterclaimed the DMCA, then YouTube would have taken down my whole account, as is the rule here on YouTube. Osho International also DMCA'd about 15 other channels for mirroring my videos on Osho and the DMCA issues. Most of us counterclaim the DMCA's. Some chose to wait to see what happened first. The great news is that my videos are back and Osho's DMCA's epically failed. The videos are back on here, on the accounts of my friends and allies and on Robert Lester 666, where they are permanently archived. So basically, Osho International, your bullshit DMCAs, are an epic fail. Plus, we know why you filed the copyright claims and never took no one to court. It's because it wouldn't stand up in court. No sane court of law would accept that your claim was valid. But let's just think about this. Think logically why the DMCA was used wrongly. Was it because I used an image of Osho? I think the answer is yes. But more because of criticism of Osho's belief system. To clear up this mess, I even contacted them. They admitted they did it because of criticism, not just because of the image usage. The DMCA claim is for claims on copyrighted material only, not to silence criticism or free debate. Groups such as Osho International should be aware that to file a false DMCA is in fact illegal. All you get from a false DMCA is the Streisand effect.
All too often people don't think. They just want to silence a critic on YouTube. Well, screw that. Now Osho International has got many, many more critics.